Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu 2004 on your MacBook. The first thing we're going to do is to download VirtualBox. All of the links that I'm using today will be provided in the description. So from here, you want to click on OS X. Once the download is finished, proceed to click on the file and now we will be installing it. Next, we will need to allow access for VirtualBox within system preferences and security and privacy settings. Since I've already allowed this setting, um, you will not see it on my screen. However, the prompt should appear right around this area within your settings. Now that VirtualBox is installed, the next step is to download Ubuntu ISO file. Once the download for the ISO file is finished, we want to open up VirtualBox. Now click on New to create a new virtual machine. We will name this machine Ubuntu 2004. And for memory, let's go with 6 gig. You can always adjust the size of the memory later on. Go ahead and leave everything as default. And for storage, let's keep it dynamically allocated. I find this option to be more efficient because your physical disk space is not consumed until the VM actually needs it. Now we will set our hard disk to 25 gigabyte. And again, this is something that you can always increase later on in your settings. And this is what makes VM flexible and scalable. Before powering on our VM, we want to click on settings storage, click on the CD icon under controller IDE. On the right, click on the CD icon and choose a disk file. Here we will choose the ISO file that we downloaded earlier. Click on OK. Now it's time to start up our VM. Click on start. As you can see, there will be a few more popped ups from security and privacy, so go ahead and allow those. To get a better look at your VM, we can increase the size of the window. Click on view and go to scale mode. And if you ever need to go back to window mode, press on left command and C at the same time. Now we will be installing 2004. Choose your keyboard layout. And I will be using the minimal installation, but you can change that as you like. Now if you want your disk to have LVM partitions or to encrypt your drive, that will be within the advanced features. Today we'll just keep it simple and leave it as default settings. The installation will take roughly three to five minutes. Click on restart now once the installation is finished. And just go ahead and press on enter and let your VM reboot. Congratulations, you have successfully installed 2004 on your virtual box. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions.